So what I can do with this wire, I mean, we can, we can do this one wire at a time. Remember, I pulled out a lot of excess here. I can, I can pull this back in. So I've got some excess, and maybe I can flop that down next to some ceiling joists, and I'm going to have a little bit more space. Okay, so I can have maybe six or seven inches, eight inches out of this box. Okay, that's probably plenty, and I can figure out what to do at that point. Okay, so now. I'm going to grab some staples and I'm going to attach the side of that cable. Now see here's the little staple. It's for 12 gauge and 14 gauge wire. And sometimes people stack one on top of the other if you're running lots of stuff. And then you might want a little bit deeper cable strap, you know, staple. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to hold it here on the side of the box and I'm going to put it over the cable. I'm going to hang on to it and tap it in within six inches of the box. The key with that is, let's see, let's get you over here. I can only do so much up here, so you're going to have to bear with me here. See there? Got the staple there within six inches of the box. The key with that is you just don't want to nail those staples in too tight. You get that too tight, you can, you can kink your, your cable or what have you. I've seen it happen, and you could short out the circuit. And all of a sudden you've got this short every once in a while something happens you're wondering what's going on it's because one of those staples were in there too tight okay so now see the see this loose the loose cable here here's all my loose cable and i can run that on the side of the ceiling joist and then it's going to go on that way and that's where it's going it's going way over there and i'll reroute that and put some more staples in there later okay key is you just you don't want to get it too floppy have somebody trip over it step on it or anything like that but because it's back in here nobody's ever going to crawl back in there if they do they're going to be they're going to have to be careful the main thing is you just don't want it out in wide open area where somebody can step on it that's a no-no now by code you're supposed to have this cabling all on the side of of ceiling joists going across and then you can go across the ceiling joists way down at the end where nobody's ever gonna walk like there boom to boom to boom to boom across and that's how they had this cable it was remember the junction box was over there and then it went that way even though the electrical panel is, is the opposite direction then it went into the back and then they went along that okay then they came out this way alongside a ceiling joist and that's the way to do it I'm going to use this wire as my ground wire, okay? I'm just going to hold it here and strip it back a little bit, like that, okay? And I'll put, I'll use that and I'll put a wire nut over that. I'll make it just a hair further. I don't have to do it too much. Use some wire strippers like this, work pretty good. And there's different little holes for different wire 14 you look on the side and it will give you numbers on it okay I'm using 12 gauge so you look for number 12 and you remember remember where that wire was right there that copper wire well this this is the white wire there's a little copper wire down there you see it I'm gonna cut that and I've got enough room there. Then I'm going to splice this white wire in. We're going to use this as a ground wire. Okay, I'm going to run that over to this box. Then I'll have a ground to this box. So anything I hook up here, I'll utilize my grounds and all the lights will be grounded.
Now see, I just cut that, spliced it together, put a wire nut on it. I'm going to wrap some electrical tape around that too, and then I'm going to fold it off to the edge and staple alongside that 2x6 and then run it on over to this junction box. Wow. That will be our ground. Now here's something I could have used too. These are splice caps. See that? Crimp sleeves it says. I could have ran one of those and pinched it on like that too. So you've got options. Wow. Okay. Now I can fish that wire, this ground wire up in this box. Okay. coming from up underneath. I've routed it in such a way to where people aren't going to walk on it or anything. And see, I could have waited to put that first staple in, but I didn't. Now I can just put another staple in over the top of that. Just want to make sure you don't staple it too hard, you know? Snug as a bug in a rug. See, I daisy chained it over there, up, down, up, down, on over there. So if somebody walks on there, they're not going to trip on it. And it's going to be below the insulation line. I've, I pulled a lot of that insulation, that blowing insulation has got it stacked over here. When I get all done, I then have to one, one handful at a time reposition it in here. Yeah.